courtesy of Twitter. This is regarding what's this guy's name again? Brendan Dune, one of the co-hosts of the sneaker podcast um, show thing on Complex I watch from time to time. He tweeted something very interesting over the weekend, which is as follows. It says here, Joe Hebert, the infamous reseller son of the former Nike vice president, popping back on Facebook to unload 400 pairs of Air Jordans. So the guy that was at the center of all that controversy with his parent or I think his mum working at Nike and he's using his the company card to purchase shoes and to obviously backdoor stuff and reselling just basically exposing how corrupt and twisted and fucked up the sneaker business industry is and also for me personally giving um, me kind of the reason and the point as to why so many kids nowadays are basically going and buying replica sneakers and why the market is completely fucked up now because essentially the brands don't care and they allow people to basically get away with absolute murder murder in terms of backdooring shoes siphoning shoes off of stock amounts before they get to stores all these sorts of really crazy um, things that go on behind the scenes and it looks like even though all that stuff was a big deal and essentially his mum lost her job off the back of that whole controversy this kid is still has able is still able to kind of pull from his contact list or plugs wherever it may be in order to secure 400 pairs of air jordans and resell them on facebook which is absolutely heinous to say the least you know what i mean and i think in general this is why the market is rigged or well, that's why the game is rigged and this is why effectively i say if you're a fan of shoes and you're out there myself included i've you know i've been in this game for 20 plus years you know what i mean like no one can kind of doubt or question how long i've been in it and what i've done and whatnot and i'm not here to read off my credentials but it is what it is but i think personally i think as people individually what you should be doing is that you should be recognizing that the game is incredibly rigged i think nowadays as people clearly pointed out sneaker industry is a multi-billion dollar industry but for whatever reason you're still unable to buy the shoes that you want you see these hype limited edition releases you maybe see a really cool tier zero release with a cool box with some cool promotional materials behind it maybe a very exclusive colorway that's only for the tier zero kind of people a particular finish and you want them and you can't get them they only give them to flipping influencers and stuff. And if they are then released to the general public, they only produce a really small amount to select accounts. And those accounts are obviously going to, you know, um, cater towards their kind of local customers or people that they've kind of known for many years, which makes complete sense. So you're left in a bit of a shit situation where you're going to have to pay either above and beyond to get the shoe that you want, or you're going to have to try and enter yourself into the raffle system, which is already corrupt corrupt and completely nonsensical the fact that you have to pay money to enter a raffle to buy a sh to have a chance to buy the shoe with your own money it makes no sense it completely subverts um you know redefines what a raffle means the whole concept of a raffle is that you can get more for the price of the thing that you paid so you pay for a raffle of county fair and you can end up getting a teddy bear that's worth 30 dollars but you only paid the equivalent of one dollar for it the fact that you have to pay for the chance to purchase a shoe just goes beyond any form of reason but again this is where we're at and i feel like with that being where you're at with your chances of securing a shoe being basically based on you being lucky enough to be one of the people chosen by computers algorithm in order to kind of purchase a shoe you're in nope you're in you're put in position or backed into a corner where you're going to have to either buy your shoes from gr spots or you're going to have to dip into the re, the replica market which is completely booming and i feel like really doing good and obviously a disservice to the general sneaker industry because what it's done is that it's muddied the waters especially what we've seen with StockX. we've seen people basically admitting on some twitter spaces that they've been running entire reselling operations off of buying replica sneakers off of these chinese websites and then selling them onto stock apps to um unsuspecting flipping buyers and having them be authenticated and whatnot and making absolute bucket loads of cash and it's been happening for a while if people are admitting it to it only now imagine what was happening during the peak of the pandemic and no one had any money so this has been going on for a while so the replica market has satisfied the demand but it's also i feel like complicated issues have made it worse because essentially there is no way to ascertain whether your shoe is legit or not unless you get it directly from the store or you get it from directly from the person associated with the brand there's no way of knowing aftermarket in the secondary market third market whatever it may be that that shoe is legit there's no way of knowing especially with the with the quick turnaround these replica factories seem to be able to turn shoes um that you know get leaked or whatever it may be 
And I feel like what well, part of the reason why is because the brands don't satisfy demand. The brands could easily increase the 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 amounts that they make with these limited edition shoes. At the moment now, sneaker culture isn't some underground thing. It's not something only the heads know about. It's not something only for the in the nose. It is a global phenomenon. Your mum, your dad, people that you would never believe beforehand know what reselling is they know about kids who are buying shoes for hundred dollars and flipping them online for one thousand everyone's heard of a yeezy so the mystery is completely gone so if that's the case just satisfy demand why are you trying to keep up this artificial scarcity thing when you know quite clearly that there is enough shoes to go around if you want to make them there's enough demand for them still if you want to do that like a good example being the reimagined chicago Jordan ones, if they increase the quantities of those shoes and make 10,000 more, 20, 30, 50,000 more, they're still going to sell out. You know what I mean? The only thing that's going to affect is maybe the overall resale price, but who gives a shit if you're a brand about resale price? You should be focusing on the customers, right? But of course, these brands obviously care about resale price because the resale price has a weird way, I would imagine, of somehow affecting and kind of bolstering their stock options on the, the way their stock looks and performance. And obviously, if you're somebody that's spearheading a project where you are in charge of maybe bringing in a set amount of collaborations and five out of the 10 collaborations are reselling for 10 times their value on online you're definitely going to include that in your deck when you're presenting to your superiors during your performance review so i completely get that but i feel like fundamentally this is a problem with the brands not a problem with the resellers not a problem with the factories nothing it's a problem with the brands themselves having worked for nike myself i know how kind of um murky and really weird it can get behind the scenes with people taking shoes allegedly off of you know store stock lists and stuff and ringing in favors and all this sort of dumb shit so by the time the shoes actually leave the stock rooms of nike or the factories whatever it may be and on their way to go to these individual accounts many many shoes have already been taken off of the of the pallets before they even get there do you know what i mean by people and let alone when they actually arrive at the store and you know the whole store is basically full of sneaker heads so you already have to discount for five people taking shoes off the pallet it's just a completely corrupt system but i feel like if nike were of the brands themselves, Nike, Adidas, whatever they may be, would come heavy or come down heavy and come down heavy on these people who are taking the piss out of their um, access, then this would stop. But unfortunately, we've had no repercussions for the likes of Marcus Jordan, who it was alleged that he was selling um, his shoes out of a hotel room beforehand to resellers, right? No consequences for him. Basically, basically double dipping, being paid a fee by Nike to basically do the collaboration. Obviously, whatever he's making at the store and then reselling them to resellers is absolutely heinous. Nothing happened to him. His Nike account has been taken away from him. He's still getting limited edition drops at his store. Ridiculous. And this kid who essentially cost his mum a job, exposed a whole network of corruption at the highest levels of Nike, has still somehow got access to people within the you know, important positions where it needed to be in order to secure 400 pairs of shoes. It's absolutely crazy. Really, really crazy. And I feel like until the brands take it seriously and actually come down on these people and say, hey, enough is enough, we're never going to see a change. We really, really are never going to see a change. It's going to just keep continuing and continuing again and again and again and again. And I think it's really, 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 really just disappointing. Back doors is actually still open. I see, like I said, absolutely heinous. Um, but yeah, this is why I say if you're a sneakerhead out there and, you're, and you care about shoes and you just want to wear them, don't, doesn't matter where you get them from obviously try to enter sneakers obviously try to enter as many raffles as you can but if you're not, unable to get them buy the reps fuck it these guys don't care about you they don't give a shit um they really don't they could care they could give they could give less of a shit um if you to secure the shoe or not through their means so if that's the case just buy them anyhow any way you can just keep going on because it doesn't look like they're trying to make any effort to stop all this finagle stuff that's happening in the scene anyway they're just letting it continue and it's absolutely horrible to see it really really is man especially it's a long time fan the shoes are i just it won't say it breaks my heart but it's just annoying because especially for myself like now that i'm older and i don't have the patience i once did to kind of queue up and go to stores and whatnot you know i have more disposable income i just want the shoes i see something that i like i want them I know what date they're going to be released. I know who's collaborating on them. I know the information behind the people making them. I'm aware of the design influences. I'm a fan. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I've done all the necessary things. I've kind of jumped all over the hoops. Cool. I've proved myself to be cool enough to, to be deemed worthy to wear them. 
now let me buy them no you can't buy them instead i have to be inundated with images of asa bari wearing them in some terrible outfit for two seconds <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> standing outside these expensive cars it's like bruv like why am i seeing images of influence like nowadays you see more influencers wearing limbs edition sneakers nowadays and you see regular punters the only exception i could think of is maybe sakai collaborations because it seems that they absolutely you know go ham in terms of the quantities that they put out there but most collaboration shoes you hardly see any regular people wearing you only see influencers that's it day to day wearing them it's so so disappointing but what do i know